let's talk about push-up clusters. When you do a push-up cluster, it is literally the same as doing a regular push-up in as much as we're talking about how the push-up itself is performed. Standard push-up. And that means if you can do a push-up on the ground, on your toes, do it that way. If you need to elevate, you can elevate at on a bench, you can elevate on a couch, you can elevate at the gym on a Smith bar or on a barbell. So you can hand elevate or do it on the floor, whichever meets you where you're at now. The cluster part is how we set up the set. So watch this. I'm gonna show you a cluster set of push-ups that are two dash two dash two. Lots of ways you can do this. Every time there's a dash, you take a break. I'm gonna say 10 seconds here. It's often what I program. Read the training program to see how many seconds the dash is um, worth. Okay, so it looks like this. So you have push-up cluster. I'm gonna do mine on my toes. So I'm gonna do two push-ups. One, two, and then I'm gonna take a 10 second break. When I take that break, I don't take it in the top position of the push-up. I come out, I could stand up, I could walk around, I could sit on my butt, I could sit like this, but you're not up in the top position. Okay, we're gonna say that was 10 seconds. Then I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do another two. One, two, another break. This time maybe I'll stand up. Okay, I'm gonna take 10 seconds. Let's say 10 seconds is up. Two more. So that is one set of a push-up cluster that was written as two dash two dash two. It could be written as anything. It could be written as three dash two dash one. The idea is you do a push-up, you take a break at the dash, at least 10 seconds, could be longer depending on what's programmed. It allows you to access more push-up volume than you could usually do. Maybe you can't do six push-ups can't do six push-ups in a row, but you can do six push-ups if you take that dedicated break. That's push-up clusters.